So first I'm going to show you the outfits that I've decided to wear. So um, on the plane and the day we arrive, I'm going to be wearing these jean shorts and this Tinkerbell tank top. I mean, t-shirt, sorry. Um, and then the next day we are going to Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom. And I'm going to wear uh, these khaki shorts with this Pua and Hey Hey t-shirt. Um, I feel like it's very Animal Kingdom-y. Uh, plus, like, Adventureland-like. So, I thought that was going to be a good outfit. And then, my next outfit, uh, because I'm going to be wearing these shorts just on the day we arrive, and I hopefully won't be getting them too, like, gross or anything, um, I'm going to wear these with this t-shirt that's for illuminations and I'm going to Hollywood Studios and Epcot on that day and I'm also doing the Frozen Ever After dessert party that night and then the next day I'm gonna wear this snow white top and just dark jean shorts um, and this day we are going to Magic Kingdom and Epcot for sure and we actually may do the four parks in one day challenge because um, we're going to Animal Kingdom in the morning uh, on Tuesday. But my sister would like to see Pandora um, at night lit up. So we may end up doing the four parks in one day. So there's that. Then on the last day, we've decided to not wear this shirt to a park because it is a little bit thicker than um, other shirts and it's black. So <laughs> it's going to be really hot. Um, and as much as I'd like to wear this one on the day that we might go to all four parks, I just, that's going to be too long of a day to wear this shirt. So I'm going to wear this shirt. Um, we're both going to wear it on the day we go home and I've got mine with some dark jean shorts and then um, I'm going to put these black comfortable capris um, in my carry-on so that um, maybe when we get to the airport I will change and be more comfortable for the ride home because we are... <laughs> Uh, leaving at about 10.30 and arriving home at 1 in the morning. So it's going to be nice to just have something comfortable on. So um, moving on over to what's in my, um, what I already have packed in here. Um, there's two pairs of pajamas. I like to wear um, t-shirt ones and capris. Um, and this has a uh, Sebastian on it and then I've got one that's got like coconuts and palm trees on it. Uh, I know that I probably only need one pair of pajamas but I always bring two because you never know like what if all of a sudden something doesn't sit right with you in the middle of the night and you feel terribly sick and you know who knows what happens and something happens to your pajamas and yeah, you need another pair. <laughs> so up next is, this is all of my swim stuff. Um, this is in a like wet dry bag or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I have my swimsuit cover up and my beach towel in here and it fits nicely. And on the way home, I'm going to have this in my carry-on because uh, we might swim on the last day and I'm going to check my luggage in like early in the day uh, and then I've got an extra pair of sneakers and a pair of sandals uh, these are actually Crocs um, I never thought I would like a pair of Crocs but uh, these ones are really comfortable uh, then I have this fan which I also have um, a USB uh, charger thing in here for to plug into the wall uh, so that's nice and um, yeah because the fan runs on a USB or on a battery but it doesn't the battery doesn't last long enough because I want to use this all night long so 
Uh, and then I've got my toiletries bag over here, which I did a video on that already. If you would like to um, go watch and see what's in there. In here, I have all of my socks, underwear, and bras. Um, I bring extra of like everything. So even though I only need like four pairs of underwear, I bring like seven because again, you never know. You just always want to be prepared for that kind of thing. Never be caught off guard without enough. Um, and then up here, I just have my uh, rain ponchos. And that's all that's in here right now. Um, the way that I fold my things, oh, well, I have an example because I have a t-shirt, if I can find it, <laughs> um, that uh, I put in here. Um, this is how I fold my clothes. So, you know, the whole folding versus rolling versus putting it in different bags and stuff. I don't know. Uh, this is just how I fold my shirts. Um, so, and this is just an example of like, I pack an extra t-shirt as a just in case, you know, what if you spill something on your shirt and you need an extra one. So, uh, I considered wearing this one to the parks because it's Lion King and the Lion King comes out today, but I, decided um I liked my other shirts a little better so this is just a just in case shirt so that's how I fold my clothes um then I have my hat I'm just bringing my Disney D hat uh I decided against bringing a bunch of hats this one fits me the nicest and has the most like the uh, the longest bill so that it protects me from the sun the most and then I've got my carry-on bag and I use this Walt Disney World backpack I got a few years ago. Um, this is probably my favorite purchase with purchase um, that I've ever had. And so it only cost me 20 bucks when I um, spent, I think it was when I spent 40. This cost 20. So in here I have what I decided on for my park bag because as you know I was going to take my um, my one backpack but it just didn't seem comfortable enough I couldn't find a sweet spot so I'm going with the crossbody bag route and it's not too big not too small uh, fits everything I need so, and it's like a nice, I'm sure it's probably not real leather, but uh, it's a nice soft leather feel. So there's that. And then I have a blanket, which I put in here because I like to use it on the plane. <laughs> um, because it gets really chilly on the plane sometimes and this is actually a it's hard to do all this stuff one handed um but it is from Disneyland it's the world of color blanket and I really like that um this just has stuff that would go in my park bag but I've put it in this little baggie for now and I have this weird neck pillow um I've tried several neck pillows and uh I really like this one I don't know um, I have another one that I really like too, but this one is, it works very well, uh, although sometimes I feel like I'm choking myself wrapping it around me, <laughs> but there's that, and then my eyeglasses case, and, uh, this pouch has a extra pair of underwear and socks, because again, you never know, and if my luggage is lost for a day or something, I at least want an extra pair of socks and underwear on me. And this pouch has all my like electronic stuff. I still got to put a couple of things in there like my phone charger and stuff. Um, but that's what this one has in it. It's like just chargers, batteries, stuff like that. That's all that's in the big area. And then 
this has my all my medicines like my over-the-counter and prescription medicines and yeah and then of course it's not open uh, and here I have a sleeping mask for the plane that's Beauty and the Beast <laughs> um, and then uh, just my wallet I like to put that in the front part um, to get through security and everything because it's got my ID and stuff in it and then I will probably stick it a little farther back put it in a different pocket and then lastly so my uh, carry-on isn't very exciting uh, last me lastly I just have my tablet which I don't even really use um, on the plane I'm just going to bring it and use it um, in the room but um, what I do on the plane is I take some Xanax and I take a nap so yeah that's what I do on the plane <laughs> um, and yeah so that's everything um, that I am taking and it all all the clothes and everything basically just stack up right here and then I um, I'll put my swim stuff like over in this section for now but um then on the way home like I said this will probably not be in there and there is plenty of room for souvenirs I also still have a couple of pockets I don't like putting stuff on the outermost pocket but I also have um, another pocket here that is pretty spacious so um, I will probably put souvenirs in there if I don't have enough room other places but um yeah so I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give it a like subscribe and turn on the notifications thanks